Hey, this is a video demonstration of the application Data Deciphered A Visual Migration of VFX. This is a tool that has been developed in Unity. Its primary purpose is to visualize the visual effects industry migration data over the period from 1980 to 2016. So let's dive in. Upon opening the tool, we are presented with a map of the globe we can drag our way in an orbital fashion about the world. You will notice several hubs sitting above the Earth's surface. These are what we call VFX hubs, areas of importance to the visual effects industry due to the high concentration of VFX work that is inherent. This application enables the visualization of migration jumps between these hubs. Let's turn on that migration now. Under the visualization button on the top left of the application, you will see we have the migration mode. We can switch this between all, where we will show all jump types at any given point in time, external, which only shows jumps between various hubs, and internal, which shows movement within a particular region. I'm going to leave this on all so that we get the complete picture. The white dots that you can see each represent a career movement for a VFX professional. This movement may be from studio to studio, or it may be a change in role at the same VFX house. Over a career, a VFX professional typically has multiple migrations. In the underlying database, 80,000 migrations are recorded. It should also be noted that this data is anonymized. So the tool doesn't support searching for your name or the name of your friend who works in visual effects. Let's get these people moving. To do so, we can navigate down to the time slider and left click or hit the spacebar. You'll see that we are currently inspecting the early 2005 period. We can speed up the simulation or slow it down with the arrows on the left. If we are after a quick jump to a certain date, we can simply drag the slider there and quickly time travel. In addition to an origin and a destination, each migration jump in a person's career also comes with additional data. We can visualize answers to questions such as, what was the type of role this person was moving for? Which company were they moving to? What industry skills do they ascribe to themselves that made this migration possible? If we come up to the data button, we can begin to filter the data to provide answers to these questions. In basic filter mode, we can filter by role, region, or studio. Perhaps I just want to see animators moving around the world. We can do that by enabling the animation button. Then, because we are in this part of the world, let us inspect all artists who are moving to the Australian region. And finally, by switching to the studio subsection, let us see artists who were going to work at Weta Digital in New Zealand at this time. Quite effortlessly, we have filtered down to a refined picture that can reveal further insights into visual effects industry migration. You will notice, however, that our filtering up until this point has been layered we have requested to see all animators and all people coming to Australia and all people who have ever worked at Weta Digital at this time. Each additional criteria is layered upon our overall query. But what if we wanted to change that query slightly to see only animators who have ever worked at Weta Digital? To do that, we have to move over to advanced filter mode. And you'll see that when we do, we get a list of our currently active filters. In this section, we can change the color applied to each filter. I'm going to set animator migrations to red to clearly illustrate what we're about to do here. I can also remove filters. So let us get rid of that Australian region requirement. You'll see that now we are visualizing animation movement, but also everyone else who was coming to or leaving Weta Digital at this time. If we just want to see animators, and of those, professionals who have ever worked at Weta, then we can click on the filter restriction button to solo this condition. 
clicking again temporarily bypasses the filter. And clicking once more takes us back to our original layered query. Now, we might regard this view as an interesting data insight. If I want to bookmark this for quick retrieval later in the session, I can come over to the Snapshot tab. I will give my insight a title and then hit Save. If I subsequently remove all my filters and change my perspective completely, I can hit the Saved Snapshot to instantly reapply filters and position about the globe. This is an efficient utility to quickly compare data insights. Snapshots also restore overlays and projection modes, which we will get into now. So orbiting around the world is great, except that sometimes you want to see everything at once laid out in front of you. Data Deciphered enables us to visualize this by changing the projection mode. Under the visualization button, we can switch to 2D projection and have our controls change from orbital to pan. We could perhaps add another filter and take another snapshot here and then switch between these two insights for some visual effect, pun intended. Next to the snapshot panel, we have the search bar. This allows us to query our database for movies, studios, roles, or skills. If we return to our Weta Digital example, we could query for that. Clicking on it automatically applies it as a basic filter and gives us some extra information from our database in regards to the studio. We can also inspect role types. And additionally, we can query for popular skills in the visual effects industry. I'm going to select two common ones, proficiency with the Autodesk Maya software and knowledge of the C++ programming language. I might color them too, for good measure. Having skill information listed against role data in migration adds another dimension to the richness of the data set and provides further potential for interesting insights. Now, we can also use the search tab to reveal movie information. But to make this a bit more visual, I'm going to enable our movie overlay. To do this, I can middle mouse scroll down to bring up our overlays menu. This illustrates the movies associated with specific visual effects hubs that were completed at a certain point in time. Then, if I return to the search bar, I can select a movie and immediately jump in time to that movie's release date. Here are some big budget ones that have emerged out of New Zealand. Avatar and The Hobbit Trilogy. You will have also seen a couple of extra overlays that were available in the central menu. So let us enable them now. Hub Density enables us to see the relative size of industry professionals in different regions. We can see that LA is a lot bigger than New Zealand. It is also interesting to see the rapid growth of the industry as a whole around the 2010 mark in response to the celebration of, and increasing demand for, visual effects work. Our final overlay is professional composition and this enables us to see the breakdown by role of VFX professionals in any given hub. By enabling this, we receive a pie chart around our current hub of focus. And this shows us, as a percentage, what the makeup of any given region is at any point in time. If we want more description on what a given role entails, then we can simply click on it and receive further information in our information panel. That about sums up the application, Data Deciphered, a visual migration of VFX. This tool is a valuable resource for quickly visualizing migration patterns within the visual effects industry over a 25 year period where it exhibited substantial and dynamic growth. Thanks for coming on this journey.